Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. Today I am doing a playing with the uh, pears video. Um, this is in response to Phyllis Santucha de la Fuente. She did a video where she got, she just got this deck and she was playing with pears and trying to figure out a way to um, use it by finding by finding pairs to go with it. And I thought it was interesting because to be honest, I've had this deck for quite some time and I've never paired it. <laughs> I've never once thought to use it like that. And so I thought this would be interesting. So um, I'm just gonna flip through some of the cards so you can take a look at them while I kind of talk about my thought process here. One second, let me zoom in. So this is the Intuitive Life uh, Coaching Oracle. These are the backs. And this is just a deck. It's a lot of cards. I would say about 70 cards. And, you know, you get a number, a title, and then you get some um, advice at the bottom. The guidebook is really good. It has really good information, uh, you know, about each subject or each um, tip of life coaching tip here to work on. And the way that I use this deck is I like to, first of all, I love these abstract images. I like to look into the images and kind of scry and see what I can find there. But what I do is I usually pull two or three cards a week. What I, I'll pull it off the shelf. I'll pull two or three cards a week and work on that journal around them. Maybe at some point pull a few cards regarding some things that I've journaled about and I want to know more about. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll do that for four or five weeks in a row and then I'll put it back on the shelf and then I won't look at it again for some months and then I'll pull it back down and, and I'll do it again. I haven't been through all of the cards, um, you know, and I've had it for some years now, a couple of years, a few years, and I don't think there's any real reason for that. I think it's just that because of the nature of the way that I work with it, um, and I may have been through all the cards by now, but you know every now and then I'll pull a card and like tape it to my tape it to my uh, mirror or something and keep it up for a long time. But for the most part, um, you know, they come up and go back down after a week or so. So it was interesting to watch her video and think and hear how she planned to use it. And, you know, as far as like a, using it in the middle of a tarot spread or as a focal point in your tarot spread, I thought that was an interesting thought. I do find these to be a little bit of a deeper message, and especially once I get into the guidebook, that sometimes feel like they need more than two cards to flesh out, which is why I'll pull them journal and then do a whole bunch of, you know, like a whole spread or maybe two later about it, you know, the next day or a couple of days later. But I find it interesting to think about it in the center of a reading as well, and I've never done it, and it's always something I'm willing. I like to try new things with my cards, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So Phyllis did her pairings, and I'll post her list below, but then I also wanted to look into my collection and some of the things that I have to see what I have that might go with it. So that's what I'm gonna do here today. I just wanna go through my collection and see what I have that I think might go well. If I did wanna use this deck in a sort of in the way that you know she was talking about using it now just so you know these cards are extremely glossy this is that sticky gloss that makes it very difficult to shuffle and because it's so, so many cards and the deck is quite large um i think that's another reason why i don't use it that much and i don't pull from it more than once a week it's very difficult for me to shuffle <laughs> very 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 difficult sometimes i do use this deck i get this one a lot automatic negative thoughts um sometimes i do use this deck with my friends like if i'm doing readings for them i might you know pull two cards for, to, for them to take with them into the fray you know like if i'm using it in that way i'm not really trying to pair it i'm just pulling the cards and the, the you know putting them with the reading so let's see about pairing it Ooh, give me one second i'm gonna pull out some decks so the first deck that really i wanted to try was the hoodoo tarot this is the hoodoo tarot these are the backs i really wanted to see how this was gonna look um did i shuffle this no hang on <laughs> we have the nine of swords the knives are swords in this with the four of coins in reverse and the healing with nature so i mean this makes sense that this will come out for me because 
uh, nature terrifies me. I don't like bugs. I don't like critters. I don't like. <laughs> so the second I see stuff that talks about um, nature and going outside, I start to think about all of the fears that I have of things that are outside. Um, not that it's going to keep me inside. You know, I still go out there, but it, it, it makes sense that this will come up next to this in my in a reading that I'm for me. So then this is the the four of coins in reverse is about, you know, releasing that, right? Like, I mean, the four of coins in reverse is basically telling me I need to get my ass out of the house. So, okay, fine. Yeah, I got that. So definitely feeling the ancestral, the ancestral reading here because this is how they talk to me, you know, <laughs> strength with increase and the three of coins. All right, the Eight of Knives and the Six of Knives or Swords. This is the Eight of Swords and this is the Six of Swords in reverse um, with the journey. Interesting. You are learning that every challenge you face has hidden gift inside. Interesting. So we have the Six of Swords in reverse, which would... A lot of times this card for me is a journey card, right? It may not be a physical journey, but it is definitely um, a trip uh, to another space, um, another thought, another trial, another whatever, right? So we in reverse means that the journey is blocked in some way. And to have it here saying that every challenge you face has a hidden gift inside. And then we also have the eight of knives, which is another thing about another card about challenges, right? And about being stuck. So if we have the six of swords in reverse and the eight of swords with this saying that challenges have hidden gifts, that's that could be a pretty strong message depending on what the challenge is that it's trying to encourage you to push through, right? Um, so that's an interesting pairing there. I don't know why there's so many reverse cards here because I do not read reversals, but here we are. We're reading reversals. Uh <laughs> Okay, so, so far, I like this. Um, two of Cups with Big Mama, who is the sun in this deck. This is my favorite card in the deck with the Two of Cups, which is probably my second favorite card in this deck <laughs> uh, with Career Transition. Your soul is yearning for a career aligned with passion and purpose. Wow, this is strong. Okay, so this is a strong, strong pairing for me. Um, and I could feel this being sort of an, a, a good inspirational ancestral uh if i wanted to tap into that energy but just in general in very good inspirational reading for daily pull or weekly pull for focus i could see that with these and i like that this is softer because sometimes the hoodoo tarot can be a little be a little harsh in, the, in its imagery not in the reading but in its imagery for me so i i like to have this with it so i like this pairing definitely like this one. So this is the Hoodoo Tarot with the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Now, the Hoodoo Tarot is a mass market deck. This one is an indie deck. This is the Onyx Tarot. Um, I will put, um, you can find this one, the Onyx Tarot on the creator's website. The Hoodoo Tarot is mass market. Uh, anything mass market, I always put the Amazon links below so you can look below for that. Um, let's take a look at this one. I don't know. I don't know why I'm just feeling these types of decks but i just wanted to see i just wanted to see because i feel like the colors in this will go well with the pops of color that's in this one so let's just take a look all right so we have temperance and the fool with the void so temperance being next to a card about addiction is interesting because sometimes when this temperance card comes up it is talking about tempering something that is being too much in an addictive way, right? And so um, a lot of times when this card pops up. So I think that that is interesting that those two popped up together. So let's see what else we get. Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups with Wake Up Call. You are about to discover your life purpose. Hmm. So it's looking like, you know, if you're feeling like you're in this sort of contemplative state, it's when it comes, it's going to be something that 
maybe comes with um, a, a deep connection could be the purpose that is going to wake everything up. You know, I don't know. I do love the colors here, though. I love that. Um, inner child, you are currently healing old emotional wounds with judgment and the four of swords. Okay, well, yeah, I guess enough said. I think that this, <laughs> this is a good pairing. Um, it wasn't one that I was, I was kind of worried it wouldn't work, but I kind of love it. Um, yeah, it's working. They're talking to each other and I like the coloring and all of that. It's very different in the artwork, right? Because we've got very modern, um, a modern style, realistic photo collage next to this sort of, well, not sort of, very um, ambiguous, abstract, I don't even know what. I it, it, it could have been oil, but I think it's more computer um, manipulated photographs really close up. Um, so like if someone took like a really close up picture of the detail on a doorway or some sort of architectural detail and then used um, Photoshop to sort of make it look painterly. I think that's kind of what, what we have here, um, but I'm not certain. Don't quote me on that. And I can't remember what it says in the guidebook about the, about the artwork, but it definitely, uh, it reads well together. And I, and I don't, I don't hate the way it looks. So this is an option. This is the Onyx Tarot. Um, you can get it on the creator's website. The next one I want to try is the Etruscan Tarot. This tarot deck is very orange, and so are these cards. So I, so I thought that they might, um, they might pair well. So let's let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my goodness! I can't hold on to cards today. <laughs> This is, um, let me see how it goes. So we've got the Four of Cups with the Ten of Swords and Mirror. Everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world. Four of Cups can be a very reflective card, right? And the Ten of Swords is definitely reflective because, you know, once you come to the end of something and you're going to start again, you're going to want to start reflecting on what happened so that you're not repeating the same cycle. So that makes sense to have those all come up together. Let's see what else we get. Tough love. It's time to tell the truth about something you have been avoiding with the Lord of Chalices, which I think is the King of Cups in the stack and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, hmm, I don't know. I'm not getting anything here. I don't know. I don't know that I love this. I thought that I was going to love this, and I'm not sure that I do. Seven of Cups with the moon and old soul. You have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. Hmm. Well, the cups could be the choices of the different uh, lifetimes, right? If, you're, if you believe in that kind of stuff. And then there's the moon. Um, which is cyclical. So that would make sense as far as lifetimes coming and going and choosing different ones. I mean, I can see it, but I don't, I still don't love it. I don't, I didn't love it. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, Nine of Wands with the Lord of Wands, which I'm thinking is the King of Wands in this deck and recognition. Someone deserves to be recognized for all that they do. Well, they've been they've been fighting hard um, and they've won and they've controlled it all. So they deserve to be recognized for that. OK. Um, the lovers with the Ten of Wands ooh, and awakening, you are no longer letting people dictate or run your life for you. OK, I feel like this could go together even though i don't love the way they look together even though i really thought i would because this could be a very uh, punchy reader these together um because i mean like a message like this it's like if you were doing a love reading and these came up i mean this is very direct it's 
<laughs> just it's not working and you need to stop letting people whatever is going on in your relationship is obviously a burden to you and it's only a burden because you let it be i mean it's very sharp right it's very sharp um so i think that this could be a sharp like if you're looking for something sharp shooting i don't necessarily want anything this sharp shooting this is very sharp <laughs> so two of swords with the ace of swords and new door your prayers have been answered and the new door is being held open for you well the new door is really being cut down for you right it's being sliced open <laughs> new ideas um and new ways to go and it's uh, been sliced open so forcefully that you can't even decide what you want to do about that so i don't know i feel like that this is um this is a truth teller of a pair like if i'm looking for stuff to really get to the bottom of it and i don't want to use a lenormand deck maybe i could use this <laughs> That's how I feel about this pairing. What do you guys think about this one? This is the Etruscan Tarot from Los Garabeo. Let's try another little Los Garabeo deck. This is the traditional manga tarot. This is one of their little cute sea sweet decks that I love. These little cute. Um, goodness, I'm having a hard time holding on to cards today. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to give this up. Maybe this needs to be the last deck. <laughs> I only have two more over here. Um, Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I knew I was going to love these colors together. See, I thought I was going to love the Etruscan, but I didn't. But this one, yes, give me this all day. Love the colors. Um, Let's see how they read. I don't know why I can't get these straight. I don't know what's wrong with me today, y'all. <laughs> I can't get the card straight. I can't shuffle. I'm just, I'm struggling. Okay. Um. Universal mind, you are about to receive the solution to your problem or concern with the two of swords and the nine of pentacles. Okay, uh, enough said. You know, <laughs> you're confused. The solution is coming, and then all you need to do is just accept it and use it, right? creative projects. It is time to get things done. Make your creative projects a priority now with the eight of swords and the king of cups. Oh, this is interesting. So if I was, if these came up together, I'm not sure, you know, I haven't asked the question or anything, but it could be that the person is feeling mentally trapped and they're creating, you know, that, you know, how people get stuck creatively and they can't, um, like writer's block or, or, or things like that. Like, I feel like a card like this would come up for that. And um, this is sort of um, pushing you to get things done anyway. So with this King of Cups here, I don't know if it would be saying that, you know, if there's a King of Cups person that could help you push through that, or also it could be saying like you need to, because a lot of times writer's block or creative blocks are emotional, even though they seem mental. So it could be like, you know, you need to control your emotions around whatever it is that's making you feel stuck because you don't have time for that shit. You need, <laughs> you need to get it done, you know? <laughs> like, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, the star with judgment and generosity, giving from your heart with no strings attached is what is needed now. Oh, that's sweet. Six of Wands with nourishment. You are being asked to take time out for self-care and the wheel. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I like this. I think that it softens because it looks like this deck being in the center of a reading like this can be a little much. Um, so this softens it, this one, the traditional manga tarot. Plus, I love the way they look together. So for me, so far, this is my winner. What do you guys think? Next up, another Los Garabeo. Look at that. Golden Art Nouveau. This is a good one. Love it. And I think it's going to look really pretty with this. So let's give it a quick shuffle and see what we get. So how did the devil and the eight of wands come up with the angel numbers? <laughs> Pay attention to the signs. Your angels are trying to deliver a message. Um, the angels are saying that you need to get out of whatever is holding you back and fast, 
you know, <laughs> and fast, get out of there and fast. Um, soul group, you are getting ready to unite with members of your soul family with the Hierophant and the Knight of Wands. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't know about this reading, these readings. Resolve. This is a period of indecision and inner conflict. It's time to make a decision with the five of swords and the eight of, yeah, see, this is not, I'm not feeling this. Um, energy healer. Your natural ability to heal yourself and others is needed now with the seven. Yeah, I'm not, this is disjointed. I don't know if I like this one. Um, I love the way they look together, but as far as like, if I'm just going by these cards that I'm pulling right now, yeah, I'm not feeling this. Let me see. Five, three of cups with the six of coins. Yeah, the six of coins and education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. So I would have thought that would come up with the higher. Anyways, I don't, I'm not, as far as this goes, like if I'm just going by what I see here and this, I'm not feeling this pairing. Um, I love the way it looks, but I don't like the way it reads. So I probably wouldn't use these together if I was just going by this. Now, I'm not saying I won't try them together again because they are beautiful together. <laughs> so I will probably give it another shot if I ever do decide to use, look at this card. Isn't it beautiful? Earth shifts. You are connected to Mother Earth. As such, you experience all that she does. I love this. It's beautiful. Anyways, I think that like if I was going to go by just these pairings, these couple of cards I pulled here, this one would get next. But I do love the way they look together. So I will more than likely try these again at some point in the future. But for right now, that is all I have. And this is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. As far as the decks that I, um, as far as these decks here, the ones that I like the most, I like the Hoodoo Tarot. And I like, so I'm sorry, my Hoodoo Tarot is in here. It's not in its box, but I, li I enjoyed the Hoodoo Tarot. And I really love the traditional manga. Those were the two that I like the most with this deck. What did you guys like? Um, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Would you be using this one um, in this way? How do you, do you have this deck? And if so, have you been using it in this way with it like as a center point in your reading? Or have you just been using it as like a clarifier or like I have, what am I doing with these cards? Hang on, let me. <laughs> Or like I have and just been um, pulling a couple of cards a week or whatever. Let me know in the comments below. So um, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have other cards, that, decks that you have been pairing with, this one is, again, the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Let me know um, because I would like to know. And I'm sure if you po posted it in the comments below, Phyllis is also looking for decks to pair. So she probably would like to know as well. You can pop over to her video and post there as well. I will link it in the description box. And until I see you next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.